All right, so my uh, fuel pump went out. I couldn't drive it up onto these ramps. What I ended up having to do is I, uh, I used that, not the ceiling hoist, but the thing hanging from it. The chain come along and I connected that up to my lifting ring. And then I hooked that right there and then I just lifted it up until I got it high enough to get it onto the ramps. That'll do Here's my uh, new fuel pump. This is going to go in place of the other one. All right. I don't, have a, I don't have a real lot of space in here, but anyways. That right there, that is the fuel pump. This one's going to have to replace it. Um... I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to do to get it get it bolted on there. So obviously, I can't go this way with it. That's not gonna do me very much good. But let me get this fuel pump out of there, and then uh, I'll see what that gets me. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to actually see how much space I got here, but it's not much. Sign here. All right, I'm gonna need my other hand. Uh, let me get my light turned on so I can see how this is connected up here. Ugh. I can even get in there. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Okay, amazingly, I was able to pull that pin back and then just keep pushing that down and it opened it up. So, that opened up a lot easier than I expected. So, that should be it for that. Okay, once again, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need my other hand. Okay. So, if the fuel pump's here, I think what I can probably do is bend this tab down this way and then I can stuff that behind this bracket here and then I'll be able to get a bolt, one bolt, through this hole here when that's when that's folded up a little bit more. And then I can get this wire, well not wire, I can get this line to go up to there and then I gotta get this line to do kind of like a half loop and go over here. Sounds simple enough. Now, one of the other things I need to do too is test and figure out which one of these is, is what. So, is black line on brown hot or is black hot? Yeah, interesting. All right. Oh, that doesn't look confident. It's inspiring. I think I'm going to have to change these lines. Yeah. I think I have enough uh, fuel line for the project here. So, I cut this off the pump. I'm going to use these uh, clips here to hook that up to my meter. And then I'll turn my ignition on. And whether this says negative or positive will tell me whether or not I'm... Uh, got my polarity correct. Once I got my positive negative figured out, it's pretty easy to wire that pump up. All right, so I'm gonna guess the one with the stripe is a positive and the solid black is a negative. Let's see. All right, got them hooked up. They're not touching, by the way. It, it just looks like an optical illusion. Okay, ignition's on. And nothing. Huh. All right. That's interesting. All right, so I just tested the fuel pump. And with the fuel that was in here, it actually shot out way over there. So the fuel pump appears to be good. So I'm going to solder the wires back to that again, get that back on its original connector, and get that back in because 
the fuel pump is not the problem. Okay, man. What are you running away? Okay, so now that I've determined the fuel pump's good, then the only thing that's probably left to check is going to be the fuel pump relay. The fuel pump relay from everything I've heard is behind the dash. So it's either under the dash or behind the cluster. So if it's behind the cluster, I have to take the steering wheel down. I have to take the front of the dash out. I've done that before. It's uh, kind of irritating, but it's not terrible. Okay, so this relay here, I've already had this one out before. This is a uh, heavy duty relay for the directionals. And I'm looking, I don't see any other relays there. So the only other relay has got to be up and underneath there somewhere. Oh, what is that? I think that's, I think that's it. Can I get to it? Most likely no. I can see it though. <laughs> Turn the ignition. Alright. Okay, so at least I can see it. Alright. So I'm looking down at my meter. I'm going to turn the ignition on real quick. It's at 12 volts per second, then it kicks back off again. All right, so now I'm going to solder these leads back onto the, uh, the pump again. I'll use some heat shrink tubing to seal that up real good. That'll be fun, having a heat gun open flame basically right next to... Uh, Gasoline in a pump. What could go wrong? So I'm stuffing my uh, heat shrink tubing down in here. This is a lot easier when I did it the other side with two hands, but just to show you. That's what I'm doing. Just get this out of the way, and then I will wrap those and solder All right. Got those soldered. Um, you should probably film that from back here so you don't see how bad those solders are. Anyways. It's it's gonna bridge the joint. That'll be heat fine. Shrink uh, on there, and now I'll plug the heat shrink gun in, and that'll okay. be good. Okay, got the heat shrink. This is back together. Now I'm officially back to square one. But on the right side, um, nobody'll uh, be able to tell what I did. So, perfect crime. Okay, so I've got all that stuff back in place again. Got my wires resecured. Uh, so basically, I got uh, I got nothing done. I'm just back to square one again. Right, so on the bright side, I have an extra fuel pump that I can probably use with my diesel tank over there for transferring fuel. Other than that, there's not much good news. Um, I'm right back to square one. And what I have to do next is tear apart the dash find that stupid relay because I'm 99% sure that that's the problem. All right, so while I didn't uh, get this fixed and all I did manage to do is cut a bunch of wires that were actually fine, it did help with the diagnostics because I saw that the uh, the voltages were just too low. It should not be pushing six volts there. So I know I'm getting some kind of problems with the relay up front. But on the bright side, I do know now that my hitch can suspend the weight of the vehicle very easily and uh, I've got a, uh, a huge set of steel trusses up on top, up above all this stuff. So I knew the I knew the ceiling of the this this area wasn't going to cave in, but uh, at least I know I can lift up the rear end of the truck, no problem. And next, what I got to do is I got to crack into the dash, I guess. All right, till next time.